In today's video, I'm going to be discussing what wavelength and NM are in relation to lasers. And a lot of what I'm going to be saying can be applied to all light in general, but because I do so many laser related videos, I wanted to bring you guys something educational and informative to help you understand some of the science behind it. So whether you're researching lasers or you're planning on buying or building your own laser, you're going to encounter the letters NM or the word wavelength. And these are essentially the same thing. They go hand in hand and they describe the color of a laser. Wavelength is what color your laser is. So I'm showing you a bunch of different colors of lasers here. They have different wavelengths, meaning they have different colors. And NM is the unit of measurement that we use to measure wavelength. The letters NM stand for nanometer. It's one billionth of a meter, so it's an extremely tiny unit of measurement. And all light is essentially an electromagnetic wave. Now, the way to picture these electromagnetic waves is they're kind of like squiggly lines. Imagine that this light bulb is emitting a bunch of these little squiggly lines, and these are what are hitting your eye and showing you the light, the color. These are what you are seeing. So these little squiggly lines, these electromagnetic waves, these are light. These are the colors you're perceiving. And you can see it does look like a wave and blowing this up, your wavelength is going to be the distance between two of the peaks on the same side. So you can see it would be the distance between the two top peaks or the two bottom peaks. And for any given color, you're going to have the same distance between all the different peaks. So if I have something that's a blue color, which would be like a 450 nanometer, the distance between the peaks is going to be 450 nanometers on all the peaks. It won't differ. Now, the human eye is not capable of seeing all wavelengths of color. We actually have a very small little window that we are able to see a little spectrum of visible light. Anything lower than about 400 nanometers, you're going to get into stuff like gamma rays and ultraviolet light, and the human eye can't see that. And then anything above about 700 nanometers, you're going to get into stuff like infrared and radio waves, and the human eye can't see that either. So we just have that little window between 400 nanometers and 700 nanometers. And this is where we see all the different colors of light that are visible to the human eye. And the further left you go, as far as wavelengths go and the measurements, you get kind of more like a scrunched up wavelength. So closer to 400, you'll get what you can see is very scrunched up. And then as you go further right towards 700, it gets a bit more stretched out. And this makes perfect sense because if your wavelength number, your measurement, your nanometer number is smaller, that means the distance between the peaks is going to be shorter. And if you have a higher number closer to 700 nanometers, that means the peaks are going to be much more spaced out. So I just want to explain one more thing to you guys. I have a lot of people that ask me what color laser is the most visible. And this is a pretty simple one to answer. The golden number, the rule of hand is 555 nanometers. That is the wavelength that is the most visible to the human eye. It will show up the brightest and you will be able to see it the most. So basically, if you're picking out a laser for visibility, you want to get as close to that number as possible. So this is why so many people buy the 532 nanometer green lasers, because this is typically the cheapest and closest you can get to that 555 nanometer and you get the best visibility out of these lasers. These look the brightest to the human eye. And besides the greens, the next best thing is gonna be either like the higher end blues, stuff above like 460 nanometers, and then some yellows, but the yellows are very hard to make and expensive, so most people will not have a yellow laser, but those will be the next up as far as visibility goes. You wanna get as close to that 555 nanometer number as possible. So just to recap everything we've talked about today, all light is basically an electromagnetic wave. It's these squiggly lines and what a wavelength is is basically the measurement between two peaks on the squiggly line and that is measured in nanometers and that nanometer number determines what color the light will be. And all light visible to the human eye sits between 400 nanometers and 700 nanometers with the peak visibility color, the color that's the most visible to the human eye being 555 nanometers. So I hope I was able to help some of you understand this a little bit better. I plan to bring a lot more informative and educational laser videos just like this one in the near future. So if you found this helpful in any way at all, hit that like button down below. And as always guys, thank you for watching.